श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कविताकेसरी वेदाताचार्यवर्यो मे सन्निधत्ता सदा हृदय नमो नारायण वी हैड मेड अ हमबल बिगिनिंग विथ श्री हयग्रीवस्त्र हयग्रीवास् ग्लोरी हयग्रीव अवतार वैभव एंड a small preamble about how our sri vaishnava acharyas as well as other acharyas have glorified praised hayagrivan through their works so now let's attempt to enjoy the deeper meanings in each of the 33 shlokams of hayagriva stotram and we pray to our acharya sarvabhauman vedanta desika and his most favorite aradhya devata shri lakshmi hayagrivan's grace limitless compassion dhaya on us to facilitate us to enjoy at least an iota of what swami desikan had captured so beautifully in this hayagriva stotram the essence of upanishads the essence of vedams and the brahma sutrams and other sacred scriptures in choosing the words in this stotram to praise the glory of vedanta uh, of hayagriva in hayagriva stotram as you all know most of you are already or have by hearted the hayagriva stotrams the first five shlokams are mangala shlokams from the sixth the sixth shlokam is the naichyanu santanam naichyanu santanam is um that i am so lowly i am so Uh, lowliest of all creatures i i have no knowledge i i have no qualifications like that you feel utterly helpless in front of bhagavan that is naichya anusantanam then the 7th to 9th verse he talks about saraswati chaturmukha brahma prahaspati dak dakshin uh, rudran all of them how they get their glories vaibhavam because of a, because of an iota because of a fraction of the power the the power of hayagriva the power of hayagriva's grace big of that grace 1 millionth of that grace falls on them and they become so grand and beautiful so such so powerful that is 7 to 9 10 to 26 is about hayagrivas kalyana gunams hayagrivas most auspicious attributes his vaibha is um, form the beauty of his form and the the fruits of fruits that hayagriva devotee will get in 27th verse he pleads and prays for hayagrivas blessing vedanta desika with with the uh, vak shakti with the power to compose speak and uh, give a good explanation in the in the sabai in a goshti like that 28 and 29 he pleads for for winning over the non vaidik avaidik and other opponents who do not who come to argue against the ramanuja sampradaya about the vishishta advaita sri vaishnava sampradaya so one who talks against he will argue against them and so he want he says bless me give me the uh, our right arguments so that i would win over the ananya mathams he says 31 please bless me with the right tatva jnanam about the entities about chit achit ishwaran about the lord 
about the matter and about jivatma i want to know the right unambiguous truths please bless me 32nd verse he talks about the divya mangala vigraha dhyana shlokam vyakhya mudra and 33rd verse is parashruti the fruits of reciting this particular verse wonderfully now there is a small thing which i want to tell inform the listeners the 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 commentary commentators like velamur bharadwaj srinivasa char swami shri tcs raghava patra char swami shri kuruchi gopala tata char swami all of them have written in their commentaries that the verse which we recite hayagriva stotra starting from jnanananda mayam devam swata siddham samahara samna prachi sandhya vishuddha vigyana gana swarupam the first five verses which are like mangala shlokams are to be actually recited and enjoyed not recited to be enjoyed for the meaning in a different order the first one should be swata siddham suddha spatikam as an invocation to god to pray god as as a, as a as an obeisance to god then prachi sandhya where he talks about envisioning the god the higher grievan in the heart inside the heart then the third verse is the jnanananda mayam devam where he pays homage to the distinct higher grievas to higher griva who has graced the maha the kavitarkika simhams visual enjoyment the poet's visual enjoyment in front of him he as if he has already appeared so jnanananda mayam dev then vishuddha vigyana gana swarupam where he has performed prapatti sharanagati at the feet of lakshmi hayagrivan is the the fourth verse samahara samna is the fifth verse where he talks about the 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 blessing him with more power to start off the verse as well as to drive away the the arrogance and the pride among those who recite so it's a beautiful order in which vyakyatas the commentators have beautifully uh, sequenced so let's enjoy in the same verse because shri parvakote andavan poundribura mandavan has blessed the commentary the book in the same order so adian would like to follow in the same order so first one is the second verse swata siddham suddha spadika mani bhuvrat pratipadam suda sadri chebi dudibi avadhad tribuvanam anantai strayyantai anuvigita hesha halahalam hata sesha vadyam hayavadana meedi mahimah here the verse which essentially means we sing praise of the lord who has a harsh face lord hayavadana who spontaneously came into materialized himself into the world came into this world on his own on his own accord swatas siddham as a form in a beautiful form he has taken a form for our worship not requiring any other cause it is on his own not requiring any other physical constituents like you have some other material to make him no as normally other things would evolve in our physical world he is not formed he forms himself on his own accord with his own will so that's the beauty of the lord so who is verily a mammoth mountain of spotless lustrous white crystal spatikam suddha spatikam mani bhuvrat pratipadam who is verily a mammoth mountain of spotless lustrous white crystal how beautiful it would be to imagine the lakshmi hayagrivan in a white huge 
majestic, divine, spotless, lustrous, white, crystal, and Suddha Sudha Satri Chibi Dutibi Avadada Tribuvana. And he, he not only he is spotless, he shines with his rays of kataksham. It makes all worlds perfectly white. Not only he is white, but but by just mere glances, but mere resplendent, uh, the splendor which comes from his kataksham, he is able to make the, the world completely uh, completely white the, the because of his kanti the the ambrosia they they say it's the ambrosia that which which shines and with that the whole world is becomes perfectly white spotless and shining the rays of ambrosia and Anantai strayantai anuvigita hesha halahalam. Hata sesha avadyam hayavadana midi mahimaha. The one who emits the halahala sound that is verily Veda recitation as his breath. Lord Hayagrivan's breath is the Veda. The, and he, his halahala sound appropriate to his form as a horse and through that neighing sound suggests that it contains the essence of all Upanishads and he causes the complete annihilation of all Papams, the evil elements of all the people who resort to him. He eliminates that. So this Swata Siddham is a beautiful word which he has chosen. It, it's, it's from the Swata Siddham means self-evident. It is self-evident that he is Ajayamanan who is never born. The Vedams declare, recognize him as the Uchishta Brahma. So Uchishta is the name of the great Brahman since he is the undecaying self. Swata Siddham. In the Uchishta form, is sustained the entire creation consisting of name and form. Uchishte nama rupam chostite loka ahitaha atarva, atarva vedam said. And everything is born. Everything is reborn from him after the pralayam. The dis disciplines of divine knowledge, the sense organs, the vital rem, the blissful rem, and all categories of human beings, Ananda, Modaha, Pramudo, Bhimo, Tamo, Swacha. So, we, the, 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 the beautiful Vedic significance of this Swata Siddham is beautifully enshrined in this verse. And Swami says, Hesha Hala Halaha, the invocation of Hala Hala Shabdam to invoke the neighing sound of a horse is a brilliant use of the, the sound effect through the choice of the words or words is a masterpiece of Swami Desikan. That's why he is Kavit Simma. Swami Desikan respectfully places this Sabda Alankaram at the sacred feet of Sri Lakshmi Hayagrivan. We'll enjoy the next verse tomorrow. Kavit Arkika Simmaya Kalyana Gundasharine. Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Amonarana.